Now, volume is the amount of space enclosed by a three-dimensional shape, like a cylinder, a cuboid, or rectangular prism, a triangular prism, a cone, or a sphere. It is this space that determines, for example, how much water can fill up a container or how many books can be packed into this box or how much air you need to pump into a bowl until it's firm. Remember, if this basketball is inflated below level, it will not bounce well. And if it is filled with too much air, the bowl will burst. So we just want to pump in the right amount of air into this basketball. Now in this video, we are going to look at how to determine the formula for the volume of three-dimensional shapes. Hello guys, welcome to Cloud Bushman. All right, so we are going to explore how we can easily remember the formula for the volume of each and every one of the shapes that we have here displayed, starting with the cylinder. Now, to find the volume of any three-dimensional figure, we multiply the area of the base by the perpendicular height. We write this as B for base area times H for height. So for a cylinder, the base is a circle. So the volume of a cylinder is given by the area of a circle times height. We know that the area of a circle is given by pi r squared. It means the volume for this cylinder is pi times radius squared times height. That is pi r squared h in short. So this is the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder. The second shape we have is a cuboid. We also call it a rectangular prism. For its base is a rectangle. This rectangle at the bottom of the prism. To find the volume for any three-dimensional shape, we need to multiply base area times height, perpendicular height. Now the area of the base, which is a rectangle, is length times breadth, or length times width. If we multiply this by height, we have the formula that we can use to find the volume of a rectangular prism. So the volume of a cuboid is given by length times breadth times height. If we had a triangular prism, like the one labeled three in our diagram. Its base is a triangle, as the name suggests. We know that volume is equal to base area times height. Our base is a triangle. The area of a triangle is half base times height, perpendicular height. So for a triangular prism, the volume is half times base times height times the length of the prism. Bit tricky. Let's write it as area of a triangle times length of the triangular prism. A cone. Volume is always given by base area times perpendicular height. The base of a cone is a circle. It's down here. So the volume of a cone should be pi r squared times height. Remember, it's perpendicular height. Now, this looks like the same formula as the formula for a cylinder. But this is not a cylinder. So this formula is for this cylinder. The volume of a cone is only one third of the volume of a cylinder. That means the volume of this cone is equal to 1 over 3 times pi r squared h. For a sphere, 
the base is a circle. The base of a sphere is strangely in the middle of the sphere. To find volume, we need to multiply base area times height. We can replace the big B with pi r squared times height. This formula is for the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a sphere is four thirds of this. That means to find the volume of a sphere, we use the formula 4 over 3 of pi r squared h. The height of the sphere is also its radius. So we have volume is equal to 4 thirds of pi r cubed. So to determine the volume of any three dimensional shape, we multiply the area of the base times perpendicular height. Please subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos.